Hi you guys, this is the first in a series of videos I'll be uploading for the uh, Asus Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, recently purchased this uh, Nexus 7 and immediately made a few tweaks and changes to uh, the desktop and a few other things that uh, I think you'll find useful and interesting. Uh, so quickly we'll go ahead and uh, switch the device on. Uh, initially the first thing I changed about the Nexus 7, as I've done with the previous uh, phones that I've had, I've installed uh, Apex Launcher on the uh, Nexus 7. What I've done, I've installed the Apex Launcher and kept uh, basically everything stock. Uh, it's just added a few new features. Uh, you've got continuous scroll on the home screens, uh, a few extra tweaks and uh, bits and bobs you can do with folders, uh, but more or less the transitions from tr screen to screen, uh, slightly different than stock, uh, slightly more fluid, I think so anyway. And in the app drawer, again, Transitions from drawer to drawer, uh, keeping the uh, wallpaper as a background as opposed to the black background as uh, in standard Jelly Bean. Uh, another thing that's quite useful in Apex Launch uh, Beta on uh, the Nexus 7 is the fact that your widgets actually work now, whereas on uh, previous versions, unless you were rooted, you had to long press uh, on the home screen to add widgets. Uh, not a major problem, but it's just that uh, the default apps, downloads and widgets now work in uh, the way they should do. One thing I quickly want to go through and mention in this first video is most people buying a Nexus 7 obviously will be uh, debating whether to get the 8 gig or the 16 gig Nexus 7. Problem with the 8 gig, you're quickly going to run out of space if you uh, use a lot of games and obviously have a lot of videos and music on there. Now the Nexus 7 is designed to uh, be cloud based so a lot of the things that you do on the Nexus 7 are designed to stream over Wi-Fi. Now this isn't uh, convenient for most people especially if you're out and about and you want to take music videos etc with you on journeys and so forth uh, a quick uh, trick and a quick uh, cheat that you can use uh, it's widely reported over the internet in th a few different forums there's a way if you uh, route your Nexus 7 that you can use the standard OTG cable to uh, access external media uh, i.e. a USB stick or a separate drive for instance. <clears throat> what I've actually found by searching around is there's now an option without routing that actually works incredibly well and I'll quickly go through this in the first video to show you how you can increase dramatically either your 8 gig or 16 gig uh, Nexus device. Now what you need to do basically is go to the market and you need to download uh, this application which is Nexus Media uh, installer and what it does basically it's uh, it puts a file managing system on your Nexus so I'll uh, leave a, a link in the uh, annotations below so you'll be able to find out uh, where to get this from the app market and uh, <coughs> how to download it uh, the app actually does cost a few uh, dollars or pounds but it's uh, well worth having now I'll quickly go through how this actually works uh, I'll go back to the home screen and we've got the standard uh, uh, OTG cable here actually with a USB stick actually attached to it. Now the OTG cable does work with the Nexus uh, 7 but only works for uh, a mouse and a keyboard in standard form without adding this extra application. Now if I can uh, jack this into the port on the bottom, so we'll jack it in how you would normally into the micro USB and straight away you can see without doing anything the application is actually opened on uh, the device so the application is opened on the Nexus 7 without me doing anything the drives active and at the top of the application we've got uh, various uh, different folders being going so we've got photos videos music and documents so if we go into videos and we go to we'll go to a sample video uh, so there's a sample video. Now basically what it does, it gives you a few options at the top of the screen. I'll try and get this so we can see what happens here. So at the top of the screen you've got a few options, save, stream, you've got the share icon and you've got your menu icon at the end. Now if you click on stream, it then gives you an option. In some video formats you can use a standard video player but lots of different formats, uh, AVI, different types of formats, that some of them that won't work in the standard video player. Uh, I'd advise you to download MX Player from the App Store, the Play Store. 
Also, another one to uh, download from the Play Store is iMediaShare. Now, when you download iMediaShare, this will enable you to share any uh, photos, video, or music that's stored on your Nexus 7 via a DNLA-enabled TV. So it will share wirelessly to your TV once you click on that. So what we'll do for the purpose of this video, we'll, uh, we'll click on MX Player, and we'll choose just once. And now you can see that the drive, if I... I'll do it. You can see the drive's actually working. And you can see the video is actually playing. So we've got the video playing from an 8 gig uh, USB drive. You can see at the side there it's playing fine. This also works with uh, unpowered uh, drives. It, I've tried it on a one uh, terabit drive and it works fine. So you can have uh, a thousand megabytes on one drive and you can carry that around with you. Obviously you're going to need a cable. Uh, but this uh, actual option does solve a lot of the uh, queries that most people have got about the storage on the actual device. So we'll quickly stop that there. We'll go back to the home screen. And unlike the Samsung Galaxy S3 where you pull down the pull down menu to unmount the uh, uh, over the over the on the go cable I should say uh, with this one you can just uh, safely remove it so that's uh, briefly the quickest uh, way I can get around the first updates I've put on to the Nexus 7 and uh, leave that with you if you've got any comments leave it in the comment box below give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll carry on these tutorials on the Nexus 7 along with the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the HTC One X in uh, future videos. Thanks for watching.